immediate implantation with immediate mm -hmm. restoration, it's a problem. It's not the case, it doesn't really matter. It's good enough, you won't have the cementation. Hi, and welcome back to Anika Dental Show, where we discuss interesting cases and new procedures. Hello again, Yaniv. Hi, Vova. How are you? Great. Yeah, another yeah. amazing week? Another amazing week. What do you have for us today? Well, today we're gonna discuss a case when we used old implants for temporary restoration mm -hmm. and made a restoration that is something like a school retained Maryland. It's something that's not widely used. Uh, probably I didn't see it nowhere, to be honest. But it's a great solution when you have already have the implants, you extract a tooth and you need to replace the tooth somehow. In this case, we want to extract tooth number 21. Mm -hmm. Of course, it's an aesthetic problem when you extract this tooth and you need to have an immediate solution for some temporary restoration. Mm -hmm. So in many cases, you take impressions before the extraction, you make a Maryland bridge and you cement the Maryland bridge so it would replace that tooth. So in this case, what we did, you can see an old bridge in a T teeth 14, 15. We took an impression on those implants and we made a Maryland bridge to restore tooth 21. You can see what we did. We took the old bridge. The old bridge was based on multi-units. And we took impressions on those multi-units and made a screw-retained Maryland bridge later on. This screw-retained Maryland bridge was screwed to those two multi-units and it had a short span of three teeth and the crown we wanted to restore. So in this case what we'll get is the same as Maryland bridge but you don't have the problem of decementation. You don't have the problem that the patient comes back to your clinic and gives you the Maryland bridge and you need to cement it back. Because in this case, if it uh, falls off, it, it came in the same day. It can't go even one day without it, with this tooth. After the extraction, you added another implant, right? Yeah. In, in this case, it doesn't really matter because what we want to show is the temporary restoration and not the, the end result. In here, of course, you can have an uh, immediate implantation. Mm -hmm. and you can have even immediate loading. But if you have immediate loading on the frontal tooth, you'll have forces on this tooth, and immediate implantation with immediate mm -hmm. restoration is a problem in frontal teeth because they have a lot of vertical forces and it can interfere with the osteointegration and we don't know, we, we can't be sure that the end result will be fine. Mm -hmm. Uh, we can't be sure that we'll get an osteointegration. We, want, we don't want to ch take any chances in these cases. So in many cases, we try to avoid uh, immediate loading. About the impl immediate implantation or not, it's uh, probably what the doctor prefers. If you had an inflammation, if you, had, uh, if you have enough bone, you have a lot of questions, but it's, it's not the case. It doesn't really matter what you want to do with the implant. You can wait three, four months, you can implant immediately. Even if you make the implant right, right away, or even if you choose to make the implant afterwards, you have the temporary restoration. If it's screw retained restoration, you just screw it away, you put the implant, and you screw back in the temporary restoration. You just need for the restoration to not interfere with the gingiva. So in here you can see uh, the space, we took off the bridge and we, he, he's missing one tooth. Now let's look how this screw retained Maryland bridge looks like. You can see you have two abutments, two sleeves for those two crowns with the multi-units. You have this span that we've added a little bit of composite to fit exactly with the contour of the, of the teeth. And we have the, this tooth, the, this is the meeting tooth. We, we want to restore it temporarily. Later on when we'll take it out, this composite will 
uh, stick to the temporary bridge. Mm -hmm. We'll just take it out as one piece. And if we want to return it back, we can always return it by just uh, returning it with screws. And it can hold enough pressure. It would hold, but it's made from PMMA. You need to know your capabilities. If you think that it won't hold, you can make it from different materials. You can maybe choose a peak or some uh, fiber, fiberglass reinforced. And then the buccal part, you can add composite for the aesthetics. Mm -hmm. But from my experience with PMMA for short uh, periods of time, it's good enough. It will hold much more simple simpler than uh, Maryland Bridge because Maryland you can't make from PMMA. The wings won't hold it. You need to make it from metal or already from peak or uh, different more difficult materials. In this case you can have simpler restoration. It's a restoration that probably won't break and you know it will hold, hold in enough time as a temporary restoration. And because you already have those implants and they're quite near the tooth you want to restore, you can use it as a temporary restoration. So in here, we're sure it will hold. And when we're taking off these crowns, we just later on when we restore the missing tooth, we just return back the old crowns. In here, you can see it as a temporary restoration. We have those two crowns that we restored upon and we closed the hole there from PMMA no problem at all in here we made an exact copy of the tooth uh, 11 we took a little bit of the occlusion so it wanted to interfere in uh, movements mm -hmm. because you don't want it to move it can break or uh, move you don't want all these movements so the tooth is a little bit shorter it's shorter with Maryland Bridge, you'll have the same. You'll have the same shorter, shorter uh, tooth, you have the same result. Mm -hmm. But in here, you know that you won't have the cementation. It will hold on these two implants. And as a temporary restoration, great restoration for a short period of time. How short? Half year? Half year. Half year is short enough for to have an implant with also integration and to have a temporary restoration on, the, on this implant, later on go to a permanent restoration. So the next step is just permanent restoration? Yeah, the next step is taking it off, uh, taking impressions, probably re returning it, because you don't want to uh, send the patient home without a tooth. Mm -hmm. And when you have the permanent tooth, you, you just uh, replace this bridge with the original bridge he had, and in this tooth, you just place the permanent tooth. Thank you very much for this uh, interesting case. You're welcome. And uh, I hope I will see you soon. Yeah. Thank you very much for tuning in. Don't forget to like, share and subscribe. Follow us to stay up to date. See you next week.